everyone. I'm Robert. I'm E. Chip. And this is Contentment Channel. How's it going? So this is, I guess, a December update. And we've been doing quite a few things. Go ahead. Uh, well, first of all, since this is coming out after Christmas, we hope all of you had a very Merry Christmas. And we hope that you're looking forward to a great new year, as we are. Um, our Christmas was really nice. Um, at, uh, at Thanksgiving, my daughter came out and we went uh, into the mountains to hunt down a Christmas tree. Hey folks, it's E. Chip and Robert with Contentment Channel. And uh, in the uh, truck with us is Violet. Hi, I'm Violet. <laughs> I gotta get a seatbelt on. We just left an uh, elk uh, ranch where they process and pack up elk, all different kinds of meats and jerkies and things like that. But we are on our way to harvest a uh, Christmas tree right out of the forest. And it's a snowy day. It's pretty. It looks like uh, the clouds are parting and we might actually get some sun. So we're looking forward to a great day. Come along with us. It's snowy here today. There we go. I like this little pine cones. Oh! And it has its first Christmas tree. I like it. That was a fun trip. It was a little icy and scary, but fun. Mm -hmm. We had to repair Dinah. The boom broke, like came apart, and the like boom the cylinder. cylinder thing slipped down. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of a... I think it was kind of a difficult repair, but we fixed it, and we were able to finish our projects. Yeah, we were in the middle of, you know, digging trenches and things like that for um, the septic system, and um, the boom cylinder uh, for the backhoe started leaking really badly, so I looked up in there, and the gland nut on top had almost come become completely separated from the cylinder, and... Boy, that thing is several hundred pounds. Just the thought of Robert and I trying to get it out would have been really difficult. But uh, thankfully, a little bit of good thinking, thanks to Robert, and some ratchet straps. And we were able to uh, get the thing down, out of the boom, tightened up, back together, and inside there, what, in about five, six hours, mm -hmm. something like that. So that was good. It's good to know we can do that work if we need to out here. So. Um, we've also completed our septic installation. It's been approved by the engineer, and it's we're waiting on a county inspection to get it cleared so we can move on to our next steps. Mm -hmm. The county inspector's truck is broken down, and uh, the county does not have a replacement truck for him or a temporary truck to use, so we have to wait until his truck is fixed. Uh, but the ground's starting to freeze, and so I hope you can get out here soon so that we can get this approved, get it covered over, and uh, get that done for the season. But I'm so glad that we're <clears throat> able to get the septic in before winter hit. So. Um, we got a couple of really good Christmas presents. To <laughs> One that I gifted to us, and another one um, my, our kids got for us. Um, and one that I gifted to us. What did you give to us? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so the one that I gifted to us is something called a kindling cracker. And I saw it 
on Facebook an ad and it is a device that you put a piece of wood in, hit it down with a like sledgehammer and it makes making kindling and splitting your wood much easier. It was invented by a teenage girl from New Zealand and she said she wanted to give her mother a better way to uh, make kindling so she wouldn't lose her fingers. That's really neat. Um, <clears throat> the one that the kids got us <clears throat> is a telescoping chimney pipe. We haven't put that in yet. Yeah, but. a stove pipe uh, for the wood stove. If you saw our wood stove video, um, you may remember how difficult it was for us to get that stove pipe out between the ceiling and the wood stove. And so we, we were given a telescoping type uh, stove pipe, which one slides inside the other, so it makes it easier to get it down and apart, uh, which was really nice. So that's, that was a, that was a really nice gift. Um, and of course, the one that I got us was the new axe. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was thinking the inverter because that's what you said you were gonna get us, and then we didn't end up getting it. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry, my bad. We need an inverter too. <laughs> so I mean, if y'all feel generous, or... <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I need I got a twenty-seven pound splitting maul uh, so that we could do a better job of splitting our wood. And by the way, thank you to those of you who responded to our, our wood stove, our chimney sweeping uh, video, uh, because we got a lot of really good advice off of that, and I, I truly appreciate it. Um, two people suggested that we get a thermometer uh, that mounts to the stove pipe, you know, with a magnet, um, and even some advice on what that temperature ought to be, so that was really good. Some of the comments were, you know, this looks normal to me, the amount of, you know, creosote that you had. The Amish, uh, person who sold us the stove um, seemed to think that, you know, we showed him a picture, he seemed to think that the amount of creosote was normal. He didn't see the video, obviously, but he made a suggestion that we split the wood into smaller pieces because they were too big. And boy, yeah, uh, I, I can't agree with more with that because it's really hard to fit some of those pieces inside that stove. It's not, it's not a huge stove. It's not a, te a teeny one, but it's not a huge one. And um, we found in splitting it down in smaller pieces, the fire burns much better, much hotter, and we can stack more in there, and we can stack it right. Um, you know, it's not all tilted and stuff, so. So, going into January, we've had colder days and things. The weather, of course, since it is winter, the temperatures trend down. Um, right now, most of the mornings are minus zero <laughs> minus zero <laughs> most of the mornings are below zero mm -hmm. and the highs have been anywhere from the teens up to it was like 37 35 or 37 so the other day yeah, yeah. but mostly it's in the 20s and 30s yeah and uh, so it, it gets colder from here uh, they say that during january and february we can expect you know morning lows between 10 and 30 below in the morning, just about every morning, and um, and then highs of about 20, um, you know, every day. That's every day for the next couple of months. And again, you know, we've said this many times, as long as the sun's out and it's not windy, you can bundle up and still work outside mm -hmm. without really worrying about getting frostbite or hypothermia or anything like that. Looking into the new year, the first thing we plan to do is go ahead and get our building permits for the house and accessory structures. And as soon as it is warm enough, we will start proceeding with the actual house build. Um, we want to make a practice straw bale structure. Um, we're not really sure about doing that and the size, but we want to practice at least before we start actually making mm -hmm. the house. Mm -hmm. But those are the things we have going. Mm -hmm. We also have to build a retaining wall for this house pad cut. Um, and we're thinking of gabion, uh, you know, gabion wall. Uh, there are plenty of rocks around here that are available to us, so uh, that should be easy to do. Um, would like to, don't know if it'll happen, but would like to uh, build new stake sides for Dumpy. Uh, because the ones that he has are really floppy and if we're going to be carrying stone and things like that in it, I'd like those stake sides to be a lot tougher 
Um, like I said, I don't know if that's going to happen, but it would be nice. And uh, we just have all sorts of stuff going on and coming up. Um, one of the things that we are dealing with right now is we had a leak in the down in the drop pipe. It's called the, the pipe that goes down the well uh, to the pump. The drop pipe developed a hole in it somehow, and the system's not holding pressure. So uh, we're going to replace that drop pipe and uh, get that fixed. But uh, you know, otherwise we're doing pretty good. We are warm, comfortable. We're out in the middle of nowhere and we're off grid, but we're loving it. It's not a bad life. I encourage you to do it. If you've ever thought about it, just start doing a few little things. Um, you know, I don't know. Try just living with wood heat if you have a fireplace or something like that. Or, um, I don't know, solar oven. Try a solar oven. Or just any number of little things. Start growing your own food in your backyard. Those kinds of things. Just to sort of work toward... Uh, more self-sufficiency. Um, that's how you do it, just little by little. I mean, trying to trying to do it by jumping in with both feet all at once is not easy, and I'm not sure I would encourage that. But uh, um, if you if your resolution in 2021 is to be, is to work toward more self-sufficiency, then those are the kinds of things you can do uh, to move yourself along. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Just jump in. Let's just, do this. Yeah, just start doing it. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and leave a comment. Like always, we love to hear from you and exchange uh, comments and ideas and thoughts. Mm -hmm. If we don't see you uh, before 2021, why, Happy New Year, and we'll catch you on the other side. Happy New Year. Bye.